Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Last episode was a little more exciting than I would have wanted. What is this? Oh, it's the trees that I planted. Was, what have they already brought over to these building sites? Um, food ran low. We'll put it that way. In isolated pockets. So we are at 116 population. So apparently we have begun to test the boundaries of... Uh, <laughs> the limits of what we can handle. So, we've got... Well, we've got the harvest completing. Everybody's about to go back to work. There's a snapshot of what got brought in. Minus what's already been hauled away, which is a lot. So, where did that all go? They moved 500 potatoes into there. And there's potatoes in all the market stalls now. Where's the... Right there, there's 100 here. I'm sure there's quite a few down here. Of course, they may be last year's. No, we've been, we've topped that off. So she's brought some down there, and actually, that's pretty, probably pretty proportional. Only seven houses down here, and we went through and thinned out the chicken coop to get a bunch of what have we got here. 15 chickens, 22. So there's the hatchlings are going to become chickens and then get get butchered and we're not keeping any more eggs for a while so they're all being sold as fast as they make them so we we got as much food back into the system as we could we've got in another month or so all of the the gardens that are going to harvest and be sold off to to this one and this one first job when we get into september is to get this guy going and get it all triggered and and uh employed so that instead of collecting all that food into these two, we won't uh, go through the step of having to then empty it back into this one. Let's just uh, you know, take them directly to here. And then from there, the idea came in through the comments to set these guys at basically the limits that they would then bring over to the market stalls over here. So the idea is as soon as the market lady grabs 50 potatoes from not here yeah we don't have them in these these are just what's in the gardens okay potatoes are a bad example what what are we actually grabbing from the gardens we'll say peas 50 peas from here they'll then go grab another 50 from there fill that back in and have it ready for her to grab another 50 for here which will leave the majority out here which will then su supply that area supplies this area if close enough maybe we'll kick it up into the trees a bit supply this area for the next housing area now that will work as long as this is somewhat central to all of this though the whole the problem comes in though with the buying that i don't know what to do this might not reach that house so this still has to do the purchasing because I noticed when we asked, I think it was last fall, asked her to buy from, I guess it was two falls ago, before all these were built, or when only one or two of these were built, to buy a bunch of stuff, October came, and nothing landed down here. They all landed up here. I don't think these houses reach these granaries in order to buy from those people. So there's still not a, a, a clear, easy answer how to deal with the small granaries, purchasing from houses at the extreme distances, and getting them into all of the different markets. <laughs> so that's that's still a bit of a challenge. There are solutions for parts of the problem, but there's no solution that I've found yet for all of the problem. These guys have decided to hire all five all year long. They've got a lot of work to do, and they're the only ones that will actually do it. So they've got the job of clearing out the building um, blueprints, whatever you call these, the, 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 the planned projects. So that's them. So I put these guys back on maintenance mode, took it down to one tree. He can just make firewood and boards, and that's fine. So this is still the primary forestry, and it's still doing the bulk of all the work. So what I'm thinking is... We want to get this built, and it's about to pop in front of us right now. Get the cow shed in, get some cows in here, get another chicken coop in, 
where am I here so that during the winter well after October when all of these foods are they starting to no we're in September all these foods get into the system again then I, it'll take the pressure off of this take you back up get the other coop going get it stocked and it's available for another emergency run if we had to to quickly butcher a bunch of foods and, and uh, eggs and, and get them into the system if we run into that again that's kind of a you know, food in the bank right there is the way I look at that otherwise uh, slaughterhouse probably after that maybe we'll be able to I don't know get get a few cattle uh, butchered by next spring and slowly start building ourselves up again we do need to re to think about more uh, um, orchards I just don't know exactly where I wanted a space big enough to put two big fields and that was all that was left so we could maybe orchard what we got going on over here how far in is pretty much everywhere that we've cleared yeah so we could orchard back in here behind all these other ones uh easy way to see it is to grab something so i wonder if we were to orchard i don't know somewhere in there what popped i think it was the the granary yeah let's get that one going so you're hired you have nothing in you anyway so you're fired and all of these go away and this gets torn down these will only autofill what isn't already within a certain radius of so had i not deleted all of these when i clicked on this one i wouldn't be able to autofill it but now i'll let the run the game run a little bit in case it's got to reset anything in the background i should be able to do now a lot of them didn't trigger why is that because you're seeing what some of these are able to do aren't you hmm okay then let's you got nothing actually working here so let's take these all away and nothing is stored here either okay take those all away that's going to hurt i'm going to have to type 50 16 times again that should then allow this to find more things it didn't work that way we had a full slate over here okay well maybe as we get to where it's time to actually purchase more things will be available that could be it there's nothing in anybody's houses of those other five things that's probably what's going on okay which means yeah i did all that for nothing <laughs> okay so we'll turn all these on and i'll get them all reset and we'll continue in a moment okay so 50 of each you guys can grab from those you two are set to take from other granaries you two are not these two go away right there's no reason to keep it right no reason as a backup i don't think so i think that's just going to confuse the system so let's take you down and move you in let's see yeah, we better get that one going, too. There's still the distance issue. I don't know exactly how that works. So let's go ahead and finish the system. Okay, so that does get moved. But we could use these building materials to build that. So these tear down so quick. We now have a full load here, so we're fine. You, you guys were set up for those guys. Am I running? I'm not running. Okay. So in that case, all the names popped over. Good. How far did we go? We've got everybody. Can we get any more? Let's see if there's anybody else looking for a job. Okay. So this is going to transition over. That's going to go away. These are going to go away. We'll rework this area later or leave it as is and just put a fence behind them. And a nice archway or something like that. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, so you guys are still employed. Um, how are we doing on fish? That's a good question. So I see two boats here. Let's get another person in. Which probably means that we don't want these jobs going. Um, what else does it mean? There's a laborer that could jump into that job here in just a moment. So get a fisherman down here, get some more fish going. How are we doing for fish in the system? Is it time to get back to salting? Actually, they will salt as soon as it hits 50. 
so it isn't we haven't turned off salt by by doing it this way okay fish in the system there's dried fish we've got none and regular fish we have 52 do people have fish in their homes now there's 10 9 7 so we may be toward the end of them needing to buy fish they have a good variety in their home at this point so you let's see where's fish up in here right no fish up in here ah there you are you did not get any yet okay where are you right now you're off to go get some some eggs you're bringing in 10 eggs so you show path you you're making your way all the way over here to grab those 10 eggs aha actually it's kind of neat to see the system work isn't it it popped in over there the next person that needed it i guess i don't know sent a carrier pigeon hey save those for me i'm on my way it'll take me three days to get there but but uh, you know save them for me okay let's speed this up a little bit we've got at this point flour and charcoal in the in the trader i've taken flour down to 250 so we shouldn't be putting any more in here every time we get 30 available in here somebody else grabs it we do we do have it in here but it's not it never stays because these folks are all grabbing it so flour is right there it must have been grabbed from down here uh flour would be one of these ladies just kind of tracking where everything's going. There's no flower here either. Okay. We're not taking it to this one anymore. We are not calling for it here anymore. Uh, Marefa, though, is probably going to want to buy all of it. And construction completed field. We've got a field. Okay. And I would like to take these fields out this winter and get them reset. So three big fields going on in here. And then I guess these fields we will set for try to set for one fallow per year this probably is this year's fallow because it's not going to be ready for next spring so it can be cycled in as if this was the you know the, the fallow that's coming up i think it'll work it'll time out just right um so flour there's some sitting in here there's none in any of the markets and there's none in here so I don't know where the last batch of 30 just went. That's what I'm kind of curious about. Marifa, did they have flour to sell or wheat to sell? They did. We're sitting on 900. Let's pull in some supplies. 1,000 wheat deal. Um, honey, hemp, 1,000 hemp. That is our, our clothing to sell deal so 200 180 coming in we're running on slow let's do that so i can be thinking about things i don't know now there was a comment that came in that i actually didn't have a good answer for the tailor says okay to regular clothes you will need hemp or linen textile produced by the weavers uh, warm clothes, you'll need broadcloth and tan sheepskin. So it does to me sound like you need both. The thought was if we brought in broadcloth, would they make, would they make a variant of it that didn't include sheepskin? I guess we could experiment. Let's just bring in a hundred of it and see... Uh, where's that at? That's over here. Um, and see if we do anything with it. It's quite expensive, so I don't want to bring in too much as an experiment. 100. Is that it? Yeah. 100, so deal. That should be enough to start a batch if it is a thing. And we just got a noise. A small demolition, a small granary. Okay. Um, and we're not in October yet. That's why I'm slowing down. I want to be over there when it happens. Okay, so warm clothes. We always do 100 of these. Just because and we're not ready for anything else animal wise i don't know if we need more honey we should see some come in in october if honey harvests with the rest of the gardens i don't know if that's timed the same way 
Um, I don't know if the bees know that that's the one they're, they're supposed to be done for the year. Um, buying sunflower, no, demand sunflower, there we go. Dried fish, sunflower oil, we have none. Uh, buckwheat flour, we have none. Sallow, chicken eggs, we have none. We have nothing to sell this time. Metal parts, flax, nope. We're going to be relying entirely on taxes for a little while. Until we get next year's crop in with these much bigger fields and make sure there's sunflower in there. So do we need more honey? What's going on in the in the uh, in the system there? I don't see anything listed in there for honey. Okay, we're running on one. Honey was like this one, right? There you are. Uh, we did get ten down here, and there's there's ten reserved. Oh, someone just bought ten. So they're buying honey. And honey in the houses right now looks like what? Four, three, six, zero. That you just bought the ten. Alright, uh twenty-one twenty-five and ten. So there's gonna be several more purchases of honey down there. Honey over here looks like one hundred. And just randomly in houses five six honey in that would have been in one of these right curious honey is in there and there's 41 available so honey is selling not as an october thing it is just gradually coming in okay and there's not much in so let's do a small purchase of honey as well as a supplement to food variety so we were selling it like crazy for the last few years and we got away with it i don't know you know i've noticed all these new houses that just went went in nobody just happened to bring honey with them or you know, beehives so i think we did 400 last time we'll do that again deal so there's about 300 that just left yeah that was or two something Look at that again. Uh, 1, 180, 2, 240, 280. Yeah, about 300 that just left. And our our test family over here, the Zayets, they're at $50 wealth now. So I had bumped it up back up to $1 oh, a couple episodes ago. And we've been fine for a land tax. We could bump that up more. Or we could start getting used to the idea of having a little more of a village house rent for when we start getting, you know, later on just houses without yards. And then eventually apartments without yards. So that's going to bump them up by another 20 cents. So that makes 340 out of 5. We're going to have to supplement ourselves with taxes a little bit more than we've been used to. We had it pretty balanced, but the families are getting ahead. So there was another poor family I noticed here, $15. They were at, oh, eight or nine an episode ago. I was checking in between episodes. You got a bunch of variety too. So you've been buying. You came with sallow because we don't have any. Um, you've been buying and you're still doing pretty good. I'm going to touch this one just a bit more as well. I'm going to bump that. We're going to bump that. And we're going to stop there and see how they look in a year. Okay. October is almost here. Marefa is good. Is done. Fishing. Three are employed. Two were employed. Three boats. Uh, you were employed. <clears throat> boats are good. Boats are good enough. You are no longer employed. All right. You are employed. We have two just left, so there's definitely two available. And I think that's looking pretty good. We've got all of our market stalls employed. We've got both of these employed. Um, didn't set that to a lady only. So you 
Apply to all. You apply to all. Okay. And if we need another guy, we can bump him out and apologize later, but I'll leave it as is for now. Though it would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, guy. <clears throat> uh, yep, yeah, you're... Yeah. Um, and somebody will jump into his place. I hope. And yeah, we got another week. We'll see how that goes. Um, you are tearing down for these materials, that which will all be brought over, hopefully, to here. Uh, granary. We've got all the nails. We just need a whole bunch of wood. So if we needed something like 8,000 wood, how are we doing for that? You have got 12,000 sitting right there. These, this one guy down here, he's got another 8,300. Yeah. I don't see us ever running out of wood, but I honestly didn't see us running out of food either, to be honest. <laughs> Anyway, October's about to hit. I've got, well, this guy tearing down. This guy's next. Moving to the cow shed and then moving to the chicken coop. And I think they could do all of that before we get into next spring. Now, I do want to get these set so we can get these two or three trees taken out. You know, rather than concentrating entirely on this. So let's do that as well. Small granary's gone. Good. So you are gone. You're gone. You are. And you are. Okay. Yeah. Now, do I want a pathway here? I was noticing I had kicked this down just to make sure I had a pathway back over here. And now it's not going to be even. But I got to thinking that would really be nice to be able to... Just one more way to get across the map rather than going up and around to get down over here. So, yep, yeah, I think I do want a pathway there. Add field. And, in fact, let's slow down before they start altering this pathway now that the fence is gone. I want to think through things. This is the last chance to really shape everything. So, you need to be. Yep. I'd say something like that. Now, how much can I get away with here? If we matched you, one in about like so. Now, it was over here. Okay. So, if I went there, that would leave narrow, but it would fit. Let's just see what that looks like. If we make it straight, it's getting tight. If we don't make it straight, I can live with it. It's going to get other people upset, but I can live with it. <laughs> as long as we're straight over here where this road goes. So, how does that land? I'm curious. If we brought in right into there. Boy, I can't see a thing. Yeah, so hard to align it to my screen. I think we're going to be okay up there. So, you come in to we'll kick in a little bit from there. That's right. A row of trees, and then we hit the farm up there. So you are something like that. And so you're in a little bit. I need to get where I can see this direction too. Hey, hey, I, I clicked wrong. Er, you. Something there. Yep, that works. Now, so I, did, oh, I didn't see what that was. Oh, there it is, 32. By something straight. And that other distance worked pretty good. Now, straight to my screen is about there. So that makes straight somewhere around there. 48 is what we seem to be going for there. All right, that works. And then down here, 32. What does that look like? Where's the number? 33, 32, okay. Uh, that gives us a pathway. 48 is over there. Move over a little bit. Yeah, that does leave a good pathway down there. I don't know. I've never run horses and wagons. So I don't know what they're going to need to get around the map later. I don't want to build something now and ruin it for later. Is that enough room? Hopefully it is. Door is definitely in the right place. So you're good. One tree needs to go down. You are now up in here. Now, so the woodcutters can start working on these fields. 
before they continue over to work on the 50 trees left in this one. All right, so you're set, and let's get one more over here. Where are we now? October. You're hired? I didn't hire you. Arg. I thought I did. Okay, you're hired, and a lot more things are available. Okay, emergency. Emergency. Hire in. Okay, those are gone. Did anything happen down here? You are here, and we're buying. No sense of activity. You, more choices. We're buying. Uh, 50. So this is where I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I want to do 50, so they only draw out of the central what they need to supply this. But their pumpkins might not be bought by the central. So I may need to be 500, I don't know. So I kind of, this is where if I wasn't recording a series, I would just sit here and just watch for months or for, for the entire month of October and just track everybody, see where they're going, what they're doing, and just kind of enjoy the process. But that gets a little boring on screen, I think. So you need to hire. Can I risk getting you angry later on by saying, the next available person, please jump in. And I'm going to give you a pay cut as soon as it happens. It's not happening. Um, now, that's right. There was a comment episodes ago that asked me to scroll this down. And I was thinking they were talking about this one. That there's more at the bottom of the scroll. And... Yeah, that's just for local purchases. We've looked at that. But I actually have not scrolled this one down while the camera was running. So it shows you even more about your population, including how many horses and cows and chicks and pigs and sheep you've got, and how many carts and mining carts and wagons and plows and fishing boats, as well as just as you move, people looking for jobs. We have two ladies that could potentially be looking for that job so we know it's possible just a matter of her getting done with her rest before these people stop selling their goods to us or we have a lot of people though okay a lot of things have not harvested yet okay there is that there we go but we also have a lot of people whose personal inventories have been depleted so they might not be selling as much this year Come on, somebody hire over here. Um, we could employ the tactic we use in March and July to... Oh, that's right. i got to turn that off for July for these ladies. To what we use to get them out of their, their jobs to help with the orchard by unemploying them in July. But those that have no... Um, perishable goods could temporarily transition to a new job. Let's transition these two ladies out just in case that helps the odds of filling this. I don't know if there is a certain point at which they will no longer continue to sell here. Will they, so long as they have too much in their house, or will they only in October? So that's what I'm thinking about. You are starting to fill up. How are you doing? Nothing's happening here. You working on a private so you've gone home to do your own. And you have two. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And you are waiting for 48 peas. So someone here is gonna sell it to you probably. Okay. Um so over here, did hire. Wonderful. Sorry for the uh false advertising but I got to take you back down to match everybody else now and then I need to rehire these two jobs but I got the slot filled that's what was important anything else pop in nope so looking things over dried fruits flour is not a thing here that's what I put in here manually because of something that the, the town makes. I was putting town things in here. This is all pretty much done now. We're not going to be bringing those in anymore until we get the other orchards going. 
It's just running it slow right now to see this process work. So you two are still taken from other granaries and you're hired, but nobody... Okay, so I guess it's over the entire month that more... They eventually get their way home. They eventually clean their own gardens out and then they decide what they're going to do with it. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. You've got quite a bit coming into here. And they're immediately going back out and they're 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 jumping into the uh, into the markets. You know, that's that's what's going on. We're we're filling up the market stalls. Yeah. I wonder if these market ladies are doing the same thing. Let's see here. Um Peas, you are taking a rest. There we are. You're up there getting some onions. So they can... This is a market stall. Not... Oh, not a granary. So these market stalls can reach these granaries. So these granaries then... Hmm. What if instead we didn't say take from other granaries... And just let them purchase and then balance it out later just to make sure nobody fails to sell to us. And then, because I'm still worried that, that people over here are not able to sell up there. Okay. So, we're keeping all of our options open. Let's go with that. Okay, so we'll just let that happen for a while. You are ready to figure out. I need another one over here. And you... Let's have you... Well, I guess it doesn't... It's about the same distance. Walk across here, go down and in. Or walk across here, go across and down. It's about the same, isn't it? Okay, we'll have it right there. So you... There, add field. And... Where is that corner? I think I need to be in a little bit because this thing is that big. So, yeah, that's about the right distance. You're going to come down to about here. But I can't do that and see that straight line. That looks pretty good, and 33 was the number we played with, so I guess you're it. Okay. This one... Whoops. Try that again. Is that snapping into place somehow? No, I guess not. 33 and... About there. So we could go the full 50 if we wanted to. We're going to have to cut trees no matter what. We could. Though... The odds are better. Wow, there's a lot of trees. Can we do all that before spring? Okay. 17 trees. This one could be longer. This doesn't have to match that one. It could. This could be back up to here. Right in there. Okay. And we'll head down then to... 40-ish. Okay. Zoom out. I, I've gotten used to hitting that right mouse button for some reason and it keeps resetting me we're going to go up in here up there okay so maybe I don't need to go as far this time then so if I go 44 just pick a number what is that lock inside there's 13 trees And if I go 46, 16 trees, 17. Let's try that. If we get to, did you take, click? Why are you not clicking? I don't know. Are you off the screen? That might be it. Yeah, that was it. Okay, door was in the right place. If we get to the end of February and this isn't ready, then I could temporarily shorten it to the space it is ready just to get it going. 
we could do that. Kind of like throwing in that, that quick field over here just to get something happening. So we can do that. Okay, so this one, let's just say weed is, is a definite trigger. And let's just say sunflower is a definite trigger. We'll reset more later. And we'll say flax is a definite. Though I do want to take another look at... Uh, in fact, in that case, we'll do a small field somewhere. We'll see how much of this gets cleared out. Um, it'd be nice to get another little something of buckwheat. If it's possible, just for chicken feed. Okay, can I speed this back up again? Do I feel like all the fires have been put out? You've got three guys, you're making fish, you have boats. Three guys making fish... There we go, three, and we're salting. Okay, do you have salt? You don't have salt. We did get salt brought in somewhere, right? Not there. I thought we bought salt from one of the river traders. Salt is moved up in here. If it wasn't moved up in here, then it could stay down here and just be brought directly over to these guys and not make that long run and then another long run back. I think I like that better. Unless, is salt something that is allowed to go into a warehouse? Is that even a thing? It is. We could do something like that. If we find that the traders are starting to get full. Hmm. Okay. Now this guy just kind of sticks out here and feels weird. But if, and your entrance is this side? No, it's this side. Darn. Okay. Well, I was going to say I'd put a a uh, warehouse behind it, but maybe I can put it on this side of it, too. Um, future Road bridge is there. Future Road kind of comes up like this. So if it faced this way with an entrance right there, I think that wouldn't look strange. It, it looks strange now, but trying to imagine what it's all going to look like when it's done can i do it though place is occupied okay i can do it so flip you over there and straight with the road look something like that um kind of happy medium there so that's there and that's feeling really tight down there so i don't like it Two trees to remove, and it fits here. And it kind of looks like it's part of that whole complex. That's interesting. Place is occupied, though. It will not let me face it the same way unless I back it off a bit to there. Oh, I see it. The trees that I put in have to go away. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. There's no room here, right? No, that's pushing into the roadway. And I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't want to take that space. I think I lose the two trees. So, minimum spot too close is there. And then right to left. The trees would need to go away. I couldn't leave them. It would look weird kind of growing up between the two roofs. So that pops out a little bit back behind, but I think that's going to be good enough. All right, we'll put you in. You're not critical. You don't have to be immediate, though I'd want you sooner than all the way back there. You are the next field that's got to get done, so you're right there. And then you could be probably right there, so you're an eventually thing. All right, so speed you back up again, and how are we doing? We're working on the cow shed. Great. We are three quarters full. We have some more to bring in over here. And we have some more to bring in over here. And they're already starting to bring it in. Is that what you're doing? No. What are you doing? You're carrying something. You're carrying honey from here. Oh, we bought honey. So you are. You went and grabbed some to bring to your small granary. Okay, good. So we're stocking up. So out of all... Well, the, the 50 peas just went away. Who grabbed that? <laughs> right there. So yeah, not much came in down here. And over here, 
Not much. Well, we got all that. But, yeah, that's... I don't know, a little, a little worrisome. Um, so, potatoes still in the system. We still have some. Um, we've got plenty of life left in them. Okay, so that's Marifa. We've just dealt with Marifa. Um, and all the wheat's gone. Now, the only one using the wheat is up here. 30, and it's being stored up there for you. Okay. Um... All right, so what did that do for us? We have clothes to sell, and the flower is building back up in here again for this one. Okay. Marifa, there you are. Running. Uh, don't need chickens yet, hemp. Yeah, I need to actually see if the tailor, I guess the tailor is running if I have clothes to sell. Do you buy clothes? You don't. Okay, that didn't help. We're down to 400. Gotta watch that one. So really no more buying. So you're kind of done. Sunflower, lime, dried fish, sunflower, oil, buckwheat, flour, sallow. We gotta get flour going back in here again too. We do. I gotta have something to sell. Chicken eggs are not a thing. Alright. So let's Cow shed's done. Good. In fact, did you have cows to sell? You did not. Okay. One of the other ones. Let's put flour back in here. A small amount. So we have something to sell. Flour, flour, flour. Don't see you. There you are. So 200 like the other one. And we'll look to see what that means. 250 like the other one. So we need... Durkachi Dur to come back and buy some uh, charcoal from us. That would be nice. Um, so there's not much I can do with Marifa. There really isn't. I got nothing to sell. Okay. I could steal this. Oh, there's only 30 here. There's only 30 there. So what does that mean here? There's 30 here. They did get some. Even though it's... I see it's... And you are not running because you are going to get some more. Because we don't have two people in there anymore. Okay. So you're going to take your time. If we have... Yeah, we do. Then yeah, we'll go ahead and hire another person. Though I'm surprised the laborers, you were a laborer, if you weren't working here, surprised they weren't keeping you stocked up. Interesting. Um, otherwise, flower in the market. So you were this one? Yeah. And you have not grabbed any. Yeah, that's kind of a tough balance. You want to sell it and you want to have it as a food source. I'm assuming it's a food source. I'm assuming, otherwise, you know, I assume that the, they count it as. But... I have no proof of that. But I would think if it's there, then it counts. Yeah. Okay, so not, not much I can do there. 403. So what does this all mean? We're still in October. Are there any gardens left that are not cleared? No. And over here. Has everybody had a chance to go home and do it? They have. So what is here is here. We've got 100 honey. We've got nothing. We've got... 38 cabbage. And these guys. A lot of honey. And more honey coming. Okay. No anomalies here. Nothing more to add. There is. We'll take those. Thank you. Anything to add down here? Yep, we'll take those too. Thank you. And 100. And did we have anything over 100 here? We did. So in that case, honey could be 500. And let's see if anybody else suddenly has honey to sell. Of course, we have to wait for somebody to go home and take a break and then deal with it. But I think this honey must have come from somewhere else. And it didn't come from down here. And this is here. 
So this was able to reach... No, 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 no. You got it from over here. That's right. We bought it from Marifa. Okay. Scratch that thought. Okay. So I still can't prove that these guys can reach these guys. Okay. So with that, did any raspberries come down? No. They were enough to trigger it to say it's in the system, but there's not enough to, uh, to sell it to us. Okay. All right, then. So that's all up and running again. Um, fish. Salt has not... Okay, what has happened to the salt? You guys don't have laborers going? You do. Here, you do. Why does nobody want to go up and grab some salt? Is it too far away? Let's say that's possible. Let's say we want to haul some salt down here of 500, uh, 700, now 500, okay? And grab, use a laborer to go and bring it down. And then we'll cross out that line. So it's sitting down here. We're not calling for it up here anymore, so it won't make the trip back up. And let's see if they then can grab salt. It might be a distance thing, I don't know. Now, I've been told if we get the cart shed going, we will eliminate a lot of our distance issues in that the cart shed will then be able to travel all over and move things around. So I've never dealt with the cart shed before. That's something to be thinking about. Um, once this gets cleared, let's make empty. And maybe I'll set the buckwheat field right here for next year. Okay, you have 14 trees left. We started at 17, so we'll kind of track that through the winter and make sure they actually get that done. Then they get back to this one. But yeah, we can do a quick little buckwheat field over here to make sure that we've got plenty of feed for this one and the one we're about to start up. So cow shed is done. Let's... I always feel like I'm, I'm going too fast. I know you guys are used to watching other players run at full speed all the time. And I watch those shows too and just say, okay, you missed that one. Oh, that perfect opportunity. You missed that one. And ugh. so I don't want to do that. Even at, to, at speed two and in a lot of speed ones, I still should have had this already hired and verify that at least that one person is going to be bringing in oh let's let's set you we've got a capacity of seven thousand so let's bring one thousand hay in and we're bringing one thousand water and that will make sure we always have a big cushion of water here for these cow these cattle and pasture let's just say use a fallow field Though there may not be one this time, because this time I'm going to want to get all of these going using this as the future fallow field for this for the next year. Hmm, which means they're going to be they're going to stay inside here, and they're going to use up, you know, four times as much hay, which isn't an issue, except that the the cattle would have helped that field. But these fields are going to all be 100% anyway, 100, 100. And eventually you'll be 100 because they're all now considered brand new so we don't need it and we know how fast our people love to make hay oh that was that was crazy trying to get these to uh, to leave me alone so i can move them so oh, last episode so i think we can afford it one round we're not gonna have that many cows to begin with okay so the following year they will follow use a fallow field that's probably a thing but right now we we'll get who Women, that's not it. Same idea. Job for women. Though laborers can be men. That can be anybody. We want... Sure, let's allow it. Allow anybody to go and, and move things around in here. That's fine. It will. There's the haze already starting. 300's on its way. Is that her? Yep, there she goes. So, one is enough for now. And there's our resources and i think like the chicken coop we're not going to do seasonal hiring you're a you're an all year long job okay so you're set and you're going to start stocking so that if um who are you guys cattle over here at balaclia i'm not sure what was that noise chicken coop's done 
So we now have plenty of food variety. I think now is the time to get this guy up and running. A worker. And we're doing two workers. So I think we can do one here. And I think we can do one here now. Let's do that. So one here, one there. Um, what am I doing here? Places occupied. What are? What was I holding on to? I don't know. Relocate. Maybe I click that. So let's do the what? How do we want to get this happening quicker? Take you up to thirty. Let's move 15 into here real soon, but we need to get this stocked. So we're not ready yet. Resources. Let's do... I'm doing 100 wheat as a backup. I'm doing 500 of the buckwheat and 500 of the linseed. Barley. That could be a good chicken food too. I don't know what I'm going to grow it next. So we'll do 100 of that. But it's buckwheat and linseed is the, is the primary. Which means I may need to buy in some because I've already got this kind of stocked. All the linseed we have is already here. And you're there. And I wonder if they'll do a distance thing. Hey, there's that same line. Goes from here all the way to the cart. No, it doesn't. Where does that line go this time? Goes to this house. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> So, once this gets stocked with those, and with, what did I say, 500 water here? Yeah, 500 water here, and all of that still leaves a lot of a lot of, of uh, storage space. So, we'll say 500 water here, just to make sure that that is always a thing. You're going to grab 100 wheat, and it's already done. I couldn't change that if I wanted to, but that's fine. We'll leave that. And, though, tell me, do they do this in order? Will they then feed the, the wheat first before they get down to the buckwheat? In fact, I'll shift this back to zero in case that actually is a thing. And I'll wait for you guys to tell me if you know. So same thing here. We could be only feeding them wheat in that case. Because every time it gets low on wheat, they go grab another hundred. So, okay, that might be a thing. Otherwise, 500 water... The 500 buckwheat, the 500 linseed. And we'll go with that. So in that case, apply to all? Yep, I think so. And take you out. And so that all stays the same. Just women. And apply to all. You're already hired. And as soon as the first food arrives, we could shift 15 over. And then 30. Yeah, 30, 30. And 30, 30. And start building up our reserve. That means we're not going to have any eggs or chicken in the system for a while. We'll have a lot of fish in there. And the fish that is up in here is, this is no fish in there. One, the fish that's in the markets right now, how close to spoiling are we? And will I ever remember where it's at? Probably not. So you've got a ways to go. So if we don't give you a chicken, you're going to buy fish. This family doesn't have any meat. So they'll probably eventually go over there and buy some fish. Okay. All right. So you, 30-30, and waiting for the feed. You... You got lots of feeds. 30-30. All right. I think we're good there. Um, where am I at? Wow. The hour goes by way too quick. It really does. All right. So, again, lots of fish available there. Fish and salt available here. The salt did come down. Kill that line. Can somebody move salt in here? Is that a thing? You are... Taking a rest, you're fishing. You are buying food for yourself. So you're going in, and you just bought some dried fish. <laughs> Works at a fishery, but still has to go to the market to buy his family some dried fish. It needs to be some privilege for these guys that... You're going to work now. For these guys that actually work in the fishery. 
Yeah, that needs to be a bonus. Anyway, you're not automatically, so you're just doing the fishing. Okay. Let's set all of you guys up. So seasonal hiring. One guy off season. December to March. Yes. And apply to all. Okay. So three guys all year all season long. Off season one guy to continue to to uh, salt the fish that was there. And in this case there's not gonna be that many. We're not putting dried fish into any of the traders anymore. So all these dried fish should go up into the markets. Okay. Well, I think that looks good. And not a lot of food in the system. Still not. You are what? You're telling me that you're ready to leave. Okay. So you're done, and we will eventually set that field. You're down to 10 trees. So I think we're going to make that one. Three good fields and this one. This is getting loaded for cattle. And this one has feed. Let's transition 15 from here. Relocate, not hatchlings. So we have 19. Let's grab 15. Some seed chickens. Relocate you to there. We have a worker. We have a worker. We have water and food. There's no chance of a chicken dying. She... Did that happen already? Oh, that happened already. Wow. Yeah, because it comes, it goes out there and goes in there. She must have just blip, blip, and is done. If I had a chance to, to watch it, or maybe you can back up and, and see if it's, if it showed. She'll come out, get her, her arms full of chickens, walk across, and put them down, and then walk back. Or this one came to get them, one or the other. Yeah, so now we got two chicken coops, and we should be filling up our 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 eggs in the bank there okay then well i guess with that i'm oh i'm out of time again oh i hate the hate this part i want to keep playing you are done you go away all right i'll probably set that field in between episodes so thanks for watching guys and we'll, we'll do this again next time Bye bye